I just got off the phone with the hospital. Maxie's stable. She's not rejecting. That's good news. How's Lucas doing? He's sleeping like an angel. It's gonna be hard for him to understand all this. Yeah, we tried to explain it to him last night, and I plan to spend the day with him today. But it's still gonna be a while before he stops asking, "Where's BJ? When's she coming home?" He's a tough little guy. Yeah, I hope so. I plan on him getting me through this. How's Bobby? I don't know. Tony, where's your wife? Uh, I asked her to leave. and Salisha. Look, I mean, even we need to eat. Another morning of cold scrambled eggs is more than I can bear. You're a stranger acting like today is just another day. As opposed to? I don't know. Maybe as a dream. But last night you said some pretty important things to me. Last night may have been the most important night of my life since I first realized Can't. I never gave you any reason to be jealous of me. Look, maybe, maybe I envy what you two shared. It's not the same as being jealous. If life with Frisco is what I wanted, that's what I would have chosen. You know that, don't you? Like any of us had any choice, huh? Yes, we do. We can pretend like last night ever happened. Maxie can go home, she can be well, she can be happy. Frisco can go back and do what he does. And you and I can get married, and we can be happy. Pretty much have it all figured out. It's what I thought we wanted. Yeah, it is. It was. I mean, it sounded great, Felicia. Except, except that happy part, you know, living happily ever after. It's because no matter how hard we try, I would always be in someone else's shadow. We'll never quite measure up to that first love of your life. the same thing. Look, the signs were all there. We just didn't recognize them. Yeah, I still don't. How hard was it for you to say yes when I proposed to you? How long did it take? It was a very important decision. How long did it take for you to say yes to Frisco? See, look, if, if it was right, you wouldn't have hesitated. I must have known that. That's why I backed off. I don't want to wake up one day and wonder if the reason you married me is because I got you out of that institution or saved you from Ryan Chamberlain. The most thing would connect us for the rest of our lives. But there's no reason to get married. Why am I just hearing about this now? I'm just figuring it out now. Look, and this is not just right for me, you know? This is right for both of us. Then why does it feel so wrong, Max? Let me ask you a question. And don't answer right away, okay? Because I want the truth, not what you think I want to hear. Have you ever thought how you'd survive if I walked out that door? No. 
No, I would be absolutely devastated, but I know I would make it. Yeah, well, Frisco taught you that lesson. But I bet when he decided to call it quits, you thought you'd never get through it. Mac, I would never roll over and die for anything, but that doesn't mean that I don't need you, especially now through all of this. Hey, hey. I am not deserting you. Okay, I am not deserting you. And I wouldn't have brought this up if you hadn't asked. Well, I could never lie to you, Alicia. And I never will. compromise and how to respect other people's ideas that is really big for me some things some things you just can't compromise passion passion is one of them idealism self-respect don't you love me like you said you do i do i do felicia i love you i wouldn't trade the last two years for anything in the world you know look i learned what i was capable of and not just with you with maxie i never thought i'd be any good with a little girl like maxie and You're now, wonderful. And now I know it. Now I know it. And when this is all over with, and Maxie is well and on her feet, you'll know that I'm right. Well, I hope you two are ready, because there's a little girl on the way to see you. You asked Bobby to leave. Actually, I threw her out. Tony, it was ugly. You should just ask the neighbors. I'm sure most of them got an earful of life at the Joneses. Look, I'm no expert on this, but I, I can Look, tell she you. is interested in another man, and I'm to blame. Now you're sounding a bit like the martyr. Well, I don't mean it that way. I am to blame, at least in part, because I've known about this for months. You might say I'm an accomplice, or was an accomplice, not anymore. How the hell did this happen? Well, it was easy. She needed to get next to this guy, Damien Smith. Whatever. He supposedly had some information that helped Luke get out of a jam, and I gave her my blessing, which is, I guess, why I'm a brain surgeon and not a leper. <laughs> you knew about this? Yeah, from day one. She uh, came home every time she had a meeting with him, gave me a progress report, except that uh, I started hearing things. Not so much what she would say, but what she wasn't saying, and it, it began to stink. <laughs> so what finally broke your back? Well, let's just say it went too far. One lie too many. You think she was lying? Even from the beginning? I don't know. All I know is I don't care. And I got pushed as far as I could go. I'm sorry. I really am. It's hard to figure out, you know. I mean, you and Bobby. It seems like everybody else was always floundering. You two were the leaders. Had it together. So I guess we all got fooled. I have something for you. Tony, I gave that to BJ as a gift. And now it's come full circle. It's only right, it meant a lot to her. supposed to bring the owner of luck. And it did. Luck, fate, whatever you want to call it. How can you say that? Because it was yours. You wore it. Your daughter's in the hospital fighting and winning. How lucky can you get? We shouldn't have had 
had to choose. We didn't. We were just dealt the hand, and we decided how to play it. I don't think I could have ever had the courage to make the decision you made about BJ. And I think you forget. You're the brave one, little brother. I'm the safe one. No, you're wrong. You're the brave one. You saved my little girl's life. I loved your little girl. And you know that. And so now every time I see her, BJ's death means life. That's important. What do you say we hang out today together, huh? You and me. I say that I love you for asking. But I'm gonna spend the day with my son, Lucas. Oh, I wish you knew him. He is a good boy. Well, I know he's lucky to have you. You know something frisky? We're gonna make it through this. We're gonna be just fine, brother. Just great. See you, Monica. If I'd given up hope and you kept it. Well, I have to admit I had my moments there. It's Dr. Moulton that really provided the miracle here. He's the one we should be thanking. As far as I'm concerned, you all deserve Nobel Prizes. <laughs> well, I'll just settle for a good night's sleep at the moment. Yeah, you look like you can use some. Well, I want to go home. I'll check on Maxie later. This is nice, the three of you. A nice family portrait. You know, the old song, what a difference a day makes. Between Maxie's surgery and what we said to each other last night. It was intense. Are you okay? Actually, I'm doing several things right now. I'm relieved over Maxie's surgery. I think that overwhelms everything. And it should. And I'm thinking about you. And the love that we feel for each other, those feelings. And how I'll always be there, no matter what. And finally, I'm, I'm thinking that maybe you're, maybe you're actually right. Maybe everything you said is, is true, and, and I think it does make sense. Amy. Yeah. Sorry, didn't mean to uh, interrupt. Time means everything in life, isn't it? Certainly is. Come on in, Frisco. Make yourself at home. Daddy's here, honey. He's right here. And he loves you very much. Believe it. I'm very grateful that I could be here to see her through this. I owe you. Thank you. No, you don't. It's as it should be. 